What's up everybody, it's Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics. Coming to you today with another unboxing. This one's from Pico Technologies. Let's see what's in the box. In case you're wondering, it's the 4425A four channel oscilloscope for automotive testing. This is their standard kit. Their standard kit comes with four normal scope leads. It comes with a high and low current probe. It also comes with a ohms meter and then it also or ohms lead and then it also comes with a uh, high resistance lead as well for checking um, like flex ray or anything that's going to be sending out a lot of power. Scope itself. This one comes with the BNC pluses. Comes with some different adapters, some back probes, banana um, alligators, some extension leads. If you wanted to just add from uh, your banana to like an unshielded, some smaller bananas, um, alligator clips. But then these also come with my favorite back probes that I've ever used. These back probes right here, hands down my favorite because they're flexible. So that way whenever you stick them into a connector, instead of having like a whole bunch of these sitting there and they're trying to press into each other, these will flex out of the way, gives you extra space. But comes with red and black. And this front section right here, hook for hanging your scope. Also comes with some more back probes. Then these back probes also come with some extras because over time tips will bend so that way you can replace them. It comes with your high amp clamp. And if you'll notice on the high amp clamps now, they're not as big, they're not as bulky, a whole lot thinner. The reason for that is your scope powers them. So what's good about that, anybody that's done any type of scope testing, they know Crap is my 9 volt battery charged. Crap that I'll leave my meter on. What's going on? So now these are powered internally. No more dead batteries. Low amp. Also, another great feature about these compared to the original ones is if you notice, no more buttons, there's no more zeroing. Scope does it all for you. All you do is you plug it in. It'll zero your clamps out so that way you don't have to worry about any of that anymore. And then it also it will set the scope up for that channel. So you can plug this into channel A. As soon as you look at your scope software, boom, it's showing that you got the low amp clamp set. The only thing that you need to change is how much current you're wanting to test. Same for this one, doesn't matter what channel you plug it into, it's going to automatically set that channel up for the high amp clamp. Now, let's take a look at the other side. With this being a standard kit, it's not going to come with everything that you would expect in the advanced kit, but it still does come with quite a bit. Comes with your USB 3 lead that you need to be able to plug your scope up to your computer. Um, especially with this one, being that it powers up all the different accessories, you definitely need the 3.0 or the USB 3 and not just the normal 2.0. Comes with your different leads. 
these are just your standard leads but what's cool about these is as soon as you plug them in I'll show you here in a minute but as soon as you plug them in all of these will light up so if I was to plug my yellow lead into yellow it's gonna LED light up around yellow but then it'll also since these are smart probes as soon as you plug it in it's gonna set up your scope for a one lead so just your standard lead for this it comes with two secondary ignition probes same thing it's got this smart usb or smart bnc so as soon as you plug it up it's automatically going to set your scope up for secondary ignition checks the only thing you'll have to do is go in and actually change what type of voltage reading you're wanting to see secondary ignition paddle pico's got probably one of the best secondary ignition paddles same thing bnc plus you plug it up it's automatically going to know that you're checking your secondary ignition with a paddle and it's going to set the scope up same thing the only thing you have to do is you might have to go in and change what type of reading you're wanting to see on it as far as the scaling comes with two uh, fuse loops what's awesome about these is not only do you get your current but then you can also check voltage on your fuse all at once so you could have two channels checking one fuse from the two different ones and sometimes whenever you're using this you might notice that you can't get a good secondary waveform off of the coil unplugged because this is what this force coil unplugged you can't get it because of for either where it's located at or the style of the coil unplug so what you can actually do is they send you two of these you'll pull your coil on plug out stick this down the spark plug tube stick your coil on plug on here and then now you got some place to stick your secondary ignition probes like these you just stick it around that so that way you can check your secondary ignition <clears throat> then this right here is the lead for your high current or if you want to check like flex ray or anything like that and what's cool about this one is it's its own probe but then you can actually stick on any type of like alligator clips for or back probes or anything so you can treat this as just a normal one but it's got its attenuator on here for up to 600 plus volts it's a 10 to 1 attenuator and then whenever if you want to use it for that what you do is you take your ground lead and you actually snap your ground lead in so now it's normal lead and then you come comes with a grounding strap what this grounding straps for um, is for if you've got an issue with a vehicle and it's sending strange readings through your scope what you can actually do is you take the screw out you put this on your screw and then you take this and you actually ground it to the chassis ground so that way now your scope is grounded and you don't have any type of strange readings from any type of back feed issues but pretty much that's how this 4425a standard kit comes um, i'm excited to get out and use it BNC pluses, push connect, nothing like getting a brand new tool, getting to use it the very first day, going to be checking out a CAN network on this Jeep Commander 06. What's cool about this is using Pico 7 software, it automatically detects what cables you got just my standards and then of course you need to go in and change them to where it's the proper voltage but irregardless I'm excited so new still has the plastic caps
I'd like to thank all of you for hanging out with me while I did the unboxing and the first use of this scope. Um, all in all, I, I'm really excited to start using as much as I possibly can. Um, BNC Plus, I feel like it's going to be a huge time saver. And us as technicians, flat rate, we know anything that we can do to save time is going to help us. And 100% this will. Less time setting up your scope, all you do is pretty much click and go. Um, no more worrying about your dead batteries on all of your accessories. Just everything. So much quicker. And for the Pico 7 software, as you see me kind of mess with a little bit in the video, if you haven't switched from Pico 6 to Pico 7, I highly recommend it, especially anybody who's using um, any type of touch screen. Like me personally, I use a Surface Pro 7 for mine. And just being able to only use touch screen while using the software is 100% what is awesome about 7 over 6, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a whole bunch of different stuff in 7 than there is in 6 that just makes it a better software but touch screen hands down makes everything better so um like i said thanks for hanging out with me during this and you guys stay tuned there's a lot of big stuff going on with jarhead diagnostics that's coming down the pipeline and uh ready to share it with you guys once it's everything comes to fruition so thanks for hanging out with me today and get out there and diag Whoa!